All right. What is up, my brothers? In this video, we're gonna be talking about the heroes you're getting today are in fact the heroes that you deserve. Look, you take a look around at a lot of these superheroes nowadays and they're pretty unremarkable. I came across something a few days ago that I posted on Twitter that was some AI altered images of superheroes. And I basically said, look, you know, like how much longer is it gonna be before we see this? It's only gonna be a matter of time before we see this as a reality. Our superheroes from the past have gone from people like Conan the Barbarian, Jean-Claude Van Damme, and Steven Seagal with real nemesis type of adversaries to geeks like you know these lightweight superheroes that we have today wasps and bugs and spiders and ants and stuff like that <laughs> and it's completely different from what real masculine virtuous strong superheroes used to look like conan the barbarian freaking muscle bound meathead wielding like a two-handed sword with one hand flinging that thing around the other really impressive ones back in the day were jean-claude van damme and of course steven seagal and steven seagal had real adversaries not these bizarro world adversaries that you see in today's world like a legit gang of jamaicans that were trying to kill him and his family it wasn't just killing him it was like i'm going to erase you and your family and they'd be going around like the white boy acha and guess what Acha was driving? He wasn't flying around on some hovering skateboard or scooter like you see today with today's superheroes. 1973, black on black, Ford Mustang, 351 Cleveland with the great big intake snorkels on the hood. Cool stuff. You don't get that anymore today. You get some weird shit. And then Steven Seagal will walk in the room do some shit with his hands and then take out everybody in a couple of seconds. It doesn't happen anymore. The other thing that you also notice as well today, and I saw this as well, Martha Stewart, yes, the old lady is now on the front cover of the Swimsuit Illustrated magazine. When I was a kid, the Swimsuit Illustrated magazine was a boner inducing situation if that showed up at your house if it was at your friend's house the girls on the cover and inside were always hot this is where we are today and we're only here because we accept it if we as a culture and society and i'm talking about you and me and all of us watching this right now would sneer away from what they're providing to us and look for alternate sources of strength virtue, masculinity, and on the feminine side, femininity, beauty, curves, you know, not weirdness. Weirdness is everywhere today. And it wasn't that way, man, when I was younger. I feel sorry for the younger generations. It's a feeling, and you know me, I'm the guy that always starts my ideas with I think like. But today, we're in very, very different times, and the heroes that you guys are getting today are honestly the heroes that you absolutely deserve. They're the ones that have been tolerated, they're the ones that have been sent your way by way of virtue in, should we call it the matrix? We'll use the M word today. It's happening, it's real, and this is what you're getting. Look the other way, go and look in a direction of something that's real, it's attractive, and do not simp, for the love of God. One of the other big problems that you have today, guys and gals watching this, is there is a pandemic, a scamdemic of simping, where guys are just endlessly giving away free attention to women online, freely, whether it's in the in the value of a comment or a like or a DM, they just give it away. You know, I noticed this, I did this podcast interview with this gal a few months ago and it went on for 90 minutes. And of course, you know, I sent over to my editor to clip it to go on the clips channel. And I look at the comments from time to time and it's like everybody in the comment, literally, when I say everybody, literally everybody, every male imaged avatar icon and they're never always you know using the real photograph of course they're always using these like cartoons or something like that they're their little gamer icon everybody is simping for this gal oh i'm a much nicer canadian you should pick me i would marry you with the drop of a hat blah 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 ah. like vomit inducing stuff this is how men operate today they've gone from nice guys to absolutely pathetic simps and I'm just gonna say it, it's a reality of where we live today. Pick better heroes, pick better women, and at the end of the day, try to emulate them. I mean, like one of the things, when I was a kid, I'd see like an icon like Conan the Barbarian, Arnold Schwarzenegger, and I'd be like, oh yeah, I wanna look like that guy. Ate right, went to the gym, lift weights, man. It all started for me around 
15, 16, 17. He just got started early and it never stopped. I wouldn't listen to him today. He was the same guy during the scamdemic that gave us the, doesn't matter about your freedoms. I can't do it with the Australian Ooh, accent, freedom. but you know what I mean. Call out the wokeness. Call out the simping. Call out the thoughtery. That's another thing that you can do, right? Do not give them your attention. Frown upon it and call it out. You know, I'm gonna close on this note. A buddy of mine, kind of skinny fat, we were away at a retreat a few months ago doing some skiing and snowboarding. And we were just talking about self-care, this, that, and the other thing. And, you know, the notion of looks and what do I look like sort of came up. And I called him skinny fat. I called him what he was. You know, kind of thin on top, not broad-shouldered, not thick-chested, and kind of pear-shaped. You know, a little bit of belly fat, you know, stored around the waist. You know what he did? Right away, immediately, because Rich Cooper called him skinny fat, he went and did something about it. His girlfriend noticed it. His girlfriend actually said, what did Rich say to you that made you change your eating and your exercise behaviors? And of course, guess what? Lo and behold, her competition anxiety goes a little bit higher. Why? Because other people are looking at him now, because other men want to be him and women are giving him some more free attention sort of thing. And that induced anxiety that she experiences because his value goes up is actually good overall for the relationship. They're very close, they're very good in that regard, in that sense. So guys, I'm telling you, if you want to affect change, it's not my responsibility. I'm just one guy that talks to a camera while I'm driving in my car. That's it. It's individuals on an individual basis that contribute to the solution rather than encouraging more of the same problem. You want better superheroes today? You want better women today? Frown on the nonsense, call it out, call out simping when guys do it, be overt about it, and look the other way and look for better examples, look for better heroes, look for better women, and level yourself up. Do the damn work, put in the reps, Go to the damn gym. Eat proper food. Stop wasting your time doing things that are unproductive. Stop hanging around losers. You hang around five fat, broke losers that are doing nothing with their life, going in no direction whatsoever, you will become the sixth. Find better people. It's not difficult. It's a simple thing. Take a look at the top pin comment. Lots of useful things that you should consider that I'm affiliated with, including reading my book, joining my men's community, and having a look at the supplement line that I've put together. Leave a comment below, like the video. We'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out. I don't ever slow up, no I don't take shit. I got no love for the fakeness. If you wanna play tough and wanna hate this, I'll always show up.